It's a serene start to a risky journey for one of the world's most advanced solar-powered vehicles. Bon vol, André. Our hearts, our soul, our love are with you. Be safe, drive carefully. The drive ahead is 6,000 miles non-stop. Solar Impulse 2's journey from China to Hawaii is six times further than any manned solar-powered plane has ever travelled. Prior to takeoff, its pilot, one of two tag-teaming this round-the-world mission, seemed optimistic. I'm very, very confident. I know, in fact, the situation will be different compared to the one maybe we know today. But I think we have the tools to adapt. Uh, we have the team to, uh, to identify where to go. So I feel really confident about making it to Hawaii. He will sleep in 20-minute bursts, and there's clearly no room for an in-flight entertainment system. So if you're not watching the latest Avengers movie, how on earth do you stay awake for most of six days? Here's the secret in-flight yoga. Uh, during the flight, uh, pilots go through huge amount of stress. There is a physical stress, there is a mental stress, and then they have to keep their um, activities completely with all these different machines and equipments and changing weathers and all that. So they need to be very sharp. They do high stressful jobs when it needs with a full focus and full energy. And also, then with the meditation and yoga nidra, they would bring themselves completely relaxed and calm. It's hard to imagine the pioneers of long-distance flight like the legendary Amelia Earhart chilling out with yoga. Her trans-Pacific journey ended in mystery after her plane disappeared. This year, we'll see renewed searches for her remains on two remote islands. The hero worship of daredevil pilots hasn't changed, but one thing has. Earhart flew in an era of bountiful oil. Solar Impulse's team hope to usher in a new era of low-carbon planes. The cockpit weighs a little less than a Rolls-Royce car, but the wingspan is wider than a Boeing 747 because it carries 17,000 solar cells. During the day, they charge batteries, which power flying at night. So as each dawn approaches, there's a nail-biting wait to see if the batteries will hold out. If not, Andre will have to ditch in the sea, using a dinghy to get clear of the plane so he doesn't get electrocuted. Right now, he's crossing Japan the sleepless night sapping him and his craft of power.